Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So in this video I will be highlighting three main points. First, I will show you how to set up um, your signature um, when you use webmail. So when you send out emails to people, they can see your signature at the bottom of the email. And second, I will show you how to forward your email that you get through webmail to another email account. So if you use Gmail a lot, um, I can show you how to forward it to your Gmail account. And third, I will show you how to set up your emails onto your iPhones, your Android. So let's get started. Um, we'll start with the signature on webmail. So I'm going to log in. So if you notice, my background is going to be different from yours. That's because I just changed the color. You guys can definitely do that. Um, it's on the options tab, um, but you can figure that out on your own. So we're going to go ahead and click on options. And um, what I said about the background color, that will be in the color options. So before I actually get to signature, I just want to show you that your name would be in all caps here and you can change that. This is just how um, people who receive your emails will, um, this is how your name would appear to them. So um, that depends on you if you want to change that. Okay. So you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have signature. Your skin be empty, so what you can do is um, type in your name, your intended major, Penn State, and when you're graduating. I guess this is pretty standard format for college students. So um, you can type all that in and it will show up when you send out emails. So just to show you how it will look like, I'm just going to go pretend like I'm going to send an email. So compose an email, and here it is. So it'll be at, so you're gonna type in your email here, and it'll be at the bottom. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? So next, I'll show you how to forward your email. And that's a different website. So I will type in the link here. It's work.psu.edu. and here is what it will look like um, just over here it says change your email forwarding address and that's what you want to click on I know this might seem like too much stuff like what is all this but um, you don't have to worry about all that for now just look at this and we'll click on that <clears throat> and you'll get to this page and you can read all this, but what it basically says is that um, you can either have your emails go to your webmail or another email account. So you're just going to type in the address that you want your email to go to. So if it was Gmail, you can change this to your Gmail account. Or if you use Yahoo, still you can change that. And then be sure to click on change. And that was pretty easy, wasn't it? And we're almost done, so I'm going to show you the third thing that I said, which was forwarding emails to your phone. And this is also a different website, so that would be kb.its.psu.edu. Um, so it's an IT knowledge base for Penn State. And um, there's a lot of links here, and you can definitely like, explore that on your own. But what I'm going to do for today is click on email, and then you'll get this drop-down list. There's a lot, and there's FAQs too if you want to look at those. But I'm going to click on IMAP. And 
and you can see there's one for Android, your iOS devices, Outlook if you use that, Thunder, Thunderbird, and um, there's a bunch of Outlooks here too, like if you use a different version, there's that, and there's Mac Mail. So just to show you what it's like, I'm going to click on, it's for iOS devices. So this is pretty good because um, they have like a step-by-step -step instruction thing that you can follow and it's pretty simple. I set up email on my iPhone using this and there was no problem at all. Like all I had to do is follow the instructions here. And this is definitely helpful and if you have an Android that's going to be over here and click on that and then they'll show you what to do. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something today. Hopefully. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or email one of us. Thank you for watching.